morning, class. Good morning. In Water's Awesome Wonder, the author describes the Grand Canyon. She gives several opinions and support each idea with facts, details, and examples. Today we will explain how the author's opinion is supported by evidence in the text. Let's go ahead and read Water's Awesome Wonder, paragraph one. Paragraph one, the author makes the claim that erosion can create something beautiful. The word beautiful is describing a word that gives the author's opinion about what weathering and erosion can do. I keep reading to find facts, details, and examples to support this claim. In the next sentence, I read the detail of the Grand Canyon is an example of erosion making something beautiful. Then I go on to paragraph two. Let's go on to paragraph two. Let's read it. Here we go. The Grand Canyon began to form long ago. The Colorado River formed across the desert floor. It carved through the rock. Wind, sand, and mudslides cut away even more rock. This beautiful canyon is more than a mile deep in some places today. It can even be seen from space. When we read paragraph two, it says that the Colorado River slowly carved through the desert rock and the erosion formed a beautiful canyon, the Grand Canyon. These details support the author's opinion. Okay. Let us read the next paragraph. People visit the Grand Canyon for many reasons. It is one of the most beautiful places on Earth. It has unusually shaped rocks and colorful canyon walls. If you visit, it will take your breath away. When the, when, when the author says things like, you, you must go here, it will take your breath away. That once again is like figurative language. It obviously it's not going to just, you're gonna look at this canyon, you're gonna stop breathing, are you? Mm. No, it doesn't mean that. It means that the view is so spectacular, so astonishing, so amazing, that you're gonna feel like, oh my goodness, I've never seen something so beautiful in my entire life, okay? How does the author support the claim that something beautiful can be created by weathering and erosion. Yes. And it's created by what? Erosion. Very good. It's one of the most beautiful places on earth and it was created by erosion. Detail in the text that we just read, the paragraph that we just read, backs up the author's opinion that the Grand Canyon is beautiful. Yes. If you visit it, it will take your breath away. Yes. Yes. It has unusual shaped rocks and colored crayon walls. Colorful canyon walls, absolutely. Yes, the author is describing why they feel that the canyon is beautiful and there is the next paragraph. Ready? The Grand Canyon is so much more than just a canyon. It is a sculpture that has been carved for more than five million years by the mighty forces of nature. And amazingly, it is still being shaped today. Let's read the caption below. Nearly five million people view the awesome sight of the Grand Canyon every year. Very good. Okay, so usually, if a sculpture is being created, it's an artist that's creating the sculpture. But in this situation, it is the it is it is nature that is creating this beautiful canyon. Okay? It is the rain, the wind, the sun, and a period of time that is causing the erosion to happen. For, and also, in this case, the Colorado River, after so many years, is separating the rocks and creating this beautiful formation, okay? I want you to go back to paragraph one. Put your finger on paragraph one. Very good. I want you to find me the opinion words the author used in paragraph one. There are more than one. Yes. Awesome. And, yes. Beautiful. 
awesome and beautiful. Go to paragraph two. Find me a ping in the words that the author used. Yes. Beautiful. Very good. I want you to go to the next paragraph and find me the opinion words. Yes. Colorful. Colorful. What else? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Very good. Next paragraph. Yes. Amazingly. Amazingly. Very good. And that was the last paragraph. Good job. So to summarize what we learned today, we were looking at explaining the author's opinion and how the author gave us supported details to back up their opinion. The Colorado man flowed across the desert wind sand. It caused through the rock wind sand and cut away even more rock. This beautiful canyon is more than a The dangers of volcanoes. Volcanoes are very destructive. Lava can be hotter than 1,000 degrees. It will instantly kill and destroy anything in its path. Just looking at the heading, is the author being positive or negative? Negative. And what word tells me is being negative? Dangers. Now find me at least three words in the very first paragraph that we read that says the author is being negative. Give me one. Kill. Destroy. Destroy. Destructive. Destructive. Very good. All those words indicate that the author is being um, negative. Okay?